Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a beautiful day today. And get ready, because we're here to talk about Thread Up. It's a secondhand clothing store that is specifically online. All right, so I discovered Thread Up a couple of weeks ago when I was laying in bed sick. I saw an advertisement on Instagram for Earth Day, and they had the sale going on all weekend, and it was 40 to 60% off basically everything on the site. And it made it so much more worth it, in my opinion, to be buying these clothes because some of them are a little pricey, but you have to do your digging. So they have about almost every brand that you can think of. All you have to do is type it up in the search bar and it brings like a plethora of different clothing and you can even adjust the price. So anytime I was looking at anything, I set it to under $20 and then with the coupon on top of that, it usually made it half off anyway, so. I was literally just harding everything and then about two hours later, I decided to go through my cart and pick what I thought was the best and I'm getting stuff from like Kendall and Kylie, Hollister, I even got Free the People for a great price. Like I was blown away. I ended up buying six shirts, one skirt, one jacket, one cardigan, two rompers, and a dress. So I got 12 pieces of clothing, all, guess how much? $100. And on top of all that, I also got free shipping, but you can also get free shipping as long as you spend at least $79, which kind of seems like a lot, unless you're trying to like update your entire closet. And of course, after I got everything, I immediately washed it, because even though the site claims that sellers can only sell clean clothes, it's still a secondhand shop and you should wash everything that you buy from there. And a funny thing is uh, a review that I found on the website was a lady gave it a one star because she said that she could tell her clothes weren't clean enough. What do you expect if you bought something from Goodwill or any other secondhand shop? You wouldn't just immediately put it on right after you bought it, right? No, that's gross. But if you are someone that's a little bit weary about wearing something that someone else used to wear, they do have a refined search button that you can look for stuff that still has tags on it and that's never been worn. So bonus there. I think one of the things that I was most impressed about this place was how fast the shipping took. It literally took exactly one week and I wasn't expecting that at all because when I looked at reviews that was one of their biggest complaints was that things took weeks and weeks to get there and even though it was from all different sellers I got mine all in just one big box. And I was so excited when I opened that door. I was not expecting to see anything on that porch. I freaked out. So I was very impressed by the clothing that I had gotten in this box. I'd say that I'm in love with 11 out of 12 of the pieces of clothing. One dress that I want to show you, I thought was super nice because it barely looks worn like at all they might have worn this outfit like maybe once and I got that with a couple of pieces of my clothing they were in such good condition look at that there's like hardly any beading on the threads it is just like full of color there's no discoloration in the white it's beautiful one thing I didn't like was the shirt that I got from Hollister I don't really know what I was expecting when I bought it but it said it was a sweater, so I think it was supposed to be more thicker than I expected. But it is like super thin, and it's a really kind of gross, creamy color that I'm just not into. So, I mean, I'll probably wear it once just to see how I like it. It would probably be the one thing I would give a thumbs down. Stay tuned, because I'm about to try on three of my favorite outfits for you.